Hey guys, Seven here, and welcome back to another World of Tanks tank review. This time I'm reviewing the tier 8 French heavy tank, the AMX 5100. So let's go for the basic stats. It has 1400 hit points. Um, not the best gun hit points for a tier 8 heavy. I mean, since the Tiger 1, the tier 7 has 1500 hit points. It's rather low amount, but. Yeah, it weighs 50 tons and has 850 horsepower engine. Uh, well, it is a pretty pretty heavy tank, but horsepower per ton ratio is almost 17 horsepower per ton, which is rather decent and can shift up to its maximum speed of 51 kilometers an hour. Although you reach that speed only on level ground if you drive a long time. Or if you go downhill, you're not gonna get that fast speed going a little bit uphill. I'd say about mediocre speed you're gonna do is about 30 to 40 kilometers an hour in this thing. <coughs> the traverse speed of the the hole um, is 32 degrees, and the traverse speed of there is also 32 degrees, which is pretty good. Both of them. Whole armor is 90mm at the front, as well as the third arm is also 90mm at the front. You are not going to bounce shots in this unless you're going in some sort of a tier 6 uh, medium heavy tank, whatever, that has a low amount of penetration. Example, a Cromwell. Um, as well as the Comet. Comet also has a bit of problem going to the front of the 5100 skin bounce. It can bounce some sometimes, but you can just shoot it in the turret here that it's not angled, and yeah, it should go right through. And should go over here. I think this is 35 millimeters thick here, as well as all the side armor is 35 millimeters thick, and the rear armor is 30 millimeters thick. The turret is 90 at the front not bad. 30 at the side, 30 at the rear, which is pretty bad. Just like every other French autoloader, it, you, you cannot change the turret, you only have one turret, which is, you know, you don't have to research things. But the problem is this back part, you can't elevate the gun upwards that much. Do we have any stats about that? Oh yeah, 13 degrees upwards and 6 degrees downwards. 6 degrees is not bad, but not something to be proud of. 7 degrees is, let's say, acceptable. 6 degrees is still kind of um, lacking. So, that's pretty much that thing done. The gun reload time, it's an auto loader, is 46 seconds almost. But that's with me when I have brothers in arms. And ventilation system got my crew up to 121%, or rather 110% for my commander. The view range is 380 meters, which is not bad, but nobody. Uh, well, that's base, and the actual mine is 435, which is, you know, pretty good. I mean, I have COVID optics. View range is in my favor in this tank. And 750 signal range, nobody cares about that. <laughs> so, what sort of gun does this thing have? Well, it gets a 100mm autoloader. Well, let's just get all the free guns out. That's the stock 90mm. That's the upgraded one, and that's the 100mm, the top one. Let's compare them. First two are 90mm, the last one is... And they all have six shells in the magazine, which is good for the 100mm because you do get a lot of damage output from the entire magazine. Uh, by the 90mm, not that much, but it's still pretty good. This, the second 90mm, which you already have unlocked you, when you go through the AMX M445 and AR44, um, it's already a good, good thing. Good gun. Because with the 90mm, the second one, I managed to do my record score and it was 5157 damage 
which is really really good as you can see here they use it just single shotgun vehicles aerial 44 and 435 and the unloading is 151.20 here the 90 millimeter has 170 millimeters of penetration the stock one and both of the stock ones have 35 millimeters uh, 35 seconds of reload which is not the best. 50B has faster reload rate than that with 120 mm. And I think that the 5120 had about 35 seconds of reload just like this, so yeah. So the reload rate between the shots, all of them, is 2.73 seconds. Which is alright. <laughs> Nothing spectacular on yeah. here. Not like the Americans, which all have 2 seconds of reload between the shots. Which is really good. The 90 mm does suffer from the penetration, but if you went for the AMX45, you should have this gun already unlocked, which is pretty decent of 212 mm of penetration. With the stock gun, with this one, you should not suffer too much. As well, um, the accuracy on it is much better than our stock one. The aiming time is on all the guns 3 seconds, which is my opinion is a bit lacking on this tank. And the weight, well, nobody cares about that. Now the top one, the 100mm. It's a 100mm, yeah. <laughs> the reload rate between the shots is on the, all of them the same. But here it says 50 seconds of reload. Yes, that's if you have 100% crew without um, brothers and arms and coated optics, which are not coated optics, the, the ventilation system, which I managed to get the reload rate down to 46 seconds, almost 46 seconds, uh, 45.8. Which is alright. And you have the penetration is really, really good at 232mm of penetration. That's almost as good as the E100, and that's a tier 10. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. APCR 263, nothing that much better. Uh, 50mm of high explosive penetration, not great. Average damage is 300, which is an interesting damage value in my opinion. I mean, all the 100 millimeters in the game have, you know, 250 damage, and they have 320 and tier 10. N none 100 millimeter has 300 damage, apart from this one. Oh, hold on, Evan. What about the T150 and the KV4? Well, those things are 107 millimeters. <laughs> this thing is 100 millimeter. That's different. <coughs> uh, the accuracy is, well, it's mediocre, it's not bad, it's not great. Naming time is 3 seconds, which is, you know, in all respect, it's a pretty decent gun, but it's not a tank for everybody, because the reload rate of 45 seconds, or if you have a bad crew, of 50 seconds, uh, if you're not patient enough, this is not a tank for you. So without further ado, let's get stuck into some gameplay. Hey guys, um, welcome back to some gameplay. Um, I, I am playing currently on Lakeville. And this is another Ace Tank gameplay. Now, you might be thinking that I have posted this replay before. Well, no I haven't. It is certainly the same map. And going to be the same tactic as I used before. And it will be the same result. <laughs> But it's not the same game. Well, almost the same tactic. There's gonna be some different stuff, but hey. You can see the reload rate. Pretty lacking of 45 <coughs> seconds, which is a long, 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 long time. Hey, if you're patient enough, you should be able to. Wait for it. Sooner or later. So come around the corner and just try to see if there's anything coming. Let's just. There we go. <laughs> so I'm platooned up with Green Jenna and Alan. Alan Set, Alan Set, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Complicated names. 
Anyways, I wait here a little bit. I see that something is... No, getting down. Oh, but nice thing. Hello. <laughs> I saw the back of the building on my way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can see the aiming time and or the aiming right where the goal gets pretty big when you start moving this tank, which is one down down thing of this tank. Now, I don't want to expose myself to the IS3 because it's an IS3. <laughs> He can kill me easily, and all I have to do is to bounce one shot. Actually, no, two shots for him to stay alive and me screwing up. <laughs> or screw up one shot and all the others get very low rolls. Which is also. Oh! Penfire, hello. First shot was a noob shot. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. And the other 5100 finishes him off. Well done. So far, 500 damage. One low roll and one a bit high roll, but they're both kind of mediocre. Oh! And I see you, hello. Another one. There's two. There we go. One more left. Where should I put it? Maybe the Tax 64. If he moves. Never mind. So I just click the C button and start reloading. So far, 1000 damage. Almost. <laughs> Currently eating an Easter egg and. Uh, it's not a good idea because. Oh shit. 5100 behind me. <laughs> Shot me. Luckily, it was a low roll. A really low roll of 239. Don't eat easter eggs. There we go, I bounced a shot. That's one of the reasons. It had to be... A 12T or so. Because he doesn't have the penetration to go for the 19 mm with angle armor in front. 5100 has no idea that I'm coming. <laughs> and so he's gonna be punished. And goodbye sunshine. <laughs> 416, there's one, there's two, and there's three. There we go. Start reloading, got 2500 damage so far. Not bad at all. As well as three kills. <coughs> now, this tank is not a tank for sniping. You should put that in your head. Um. It's more of a close range combat, and it's not a tank to go full on forward like the IS-3, it's a support tank. You support the other heavies with this tank. Like, if there's an IS-3 on your team, you support him with this tank. And you put the enemies on low health and... Or, once one clip them, and then start reloading. Hello, E-75. Yep, he starts angling, which is a bad idea. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. There we go. Nice. 3,600 damage done. And the E75 is really angry. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? I don't know. I'm still reloading though, and I'm gonna still reload for quite a long time. Let's just speed up a little bit. Oh, T28 prototype, and he's gonna get wrecked. Doesn't matter, there's the Yak Tiger. Holy shit. I'm on really low health. I got the T49. I. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Good job, 12T. Good job. T49 mustn't live. I mean, 12 T12. Soft T is a tank that nobody really likes. Why am I keep bouncing? There we go. So that's how you pretty much play the 5100. I managed to do 3700 damage, 5 kills, and that's enough to do an ace tank in this. All I have to do is to make about between 3 and 4000 damage. Gets 
5 kills and ace tank is yours. So that's how you play the 5100. Thank you guys for watching. This was another tank review and I'll see you next time.